Hello everyone, welcome to LAST. It stands for Learning, Advice, Study, TV Show, but will never be the last. So today we'll continue from our last video, which is about how to improve your speaking skills. In that video, we talk about making yourself a vocabulary aim. And in this video, we'll tell you how to make a vocabulary aim. So first, I found a really useful website called LAXTutor.ca. You can search it up yourself or the link is in the description below this video. You can check it out at any time. So the only thing we need in this really massive website is test. It's a link, we'll click it in. You can see there are so many tests there and they are all different languages here, except English, there are French, etc. Uh, you can check it out in your free time as well. But today I will just show you the second one VLT, which stands for vocab level test. I'm not going to do the practice, I'm just going to do the test. Now you can see there are the 2000 level, 3000 level, 5000 level, university word list, and the 10,000 level. Each number represents how many words you know in English. And for the university word list, it's words that you use in math or science, like tissue, episode, hypothesis, etc. And how you do this test is very simple. You can see there are six words here, and then three words with three boxes in front of them. You just need to find out the one meaning that represents this word from these six words. Example for complete, you need to choose one word from original, private, loyal, slow, sorry, or total. And then you write the three number down, the number is just in front of them. You finish all of them, and if you come to 5,000 level, and then you think, I don't know everything out of them, and then I'm just going to guess, you can just stop because it's really useless. And then when you finish answering all the questions, don't click reset, it's red, don't click it. You will just, it will just all disappear. It will not have a box that, are you sure or something like that? It will just disappear. So don't click that unless you want to reset. When you finish your test, click the score as test and then click record score. Now click okay. This name doesn't really matter, so I'll just go with student. And now you can see your percentage for each level. You can see that your IP, computer IP, name, time is kind of important. You can just keep track with your test result every month or every week. And you can see the time you take, it's in second. I suggest that you take a screenshot of this black box then keep it in your desktop folder. You can do this test every month maybe and then check did you improve or not. And now when you find out your level, now you can go to a website called Oxford Learner Dictionaries. This link is also in the description, you can find it out. Now you can see this Oxford 3000 and 5000. There are different word lists, you can click filter to choose 3,000, 5,000, or 3,000 and 5,000. I suggest that you can download this whole thing. I'll just choose 3,000 at first. You can see this PDF document. My way is that I send this to my iPad and then I put in my GoodNote drive. Now it looks like this. So I can make note for different words and use different colors to mark it. I use orange and purple. I see also highlighters to highlight some important things. So this is one of my way of recording my word, writing down all the meanings of words. So if you want to do the 5,000, you can. So how do you know if you are doing the 3,000 word list or 5,000 word list? If like your 2K and 3K are not higher than 90%, then you need to do the 3,000. If it, they are all higher than 90%, then you can do the 5K. And in that word list, it don't have the academic word list, but you can find your own or study in your school. This is all for today, thank you very much. Remember to subscribe.